Well, the sun's beginning to get low in the sky. It's been a great day. Temperatures for the month of May, absolutely amazing. We were in the low 80s, a nice breeze. And as the day went on, the sun came out and it didn't disappear. Um, we've had a little bit of clouds, but it's been an amazingly wonderful day. The farm was a lot busier than I anticipated. So my uh, world naked gardening party did not go too well. Kept the clothes on all day long and I did not get anything planted. Uh, it was a busy day with lots of other things. Lots of company, which was a nice change of pace during this time when uh, everybody's been staying at home and not too many people coming out to visit. I love showing things off. So uh, the garden back there didn't hardly get touched. Uh, but a buddy brought his tractor over so we can move mulch. Uh, went on a mushroom hunt. This morning I woke up and began the day with some peeping out in the front yard in the grass. And I thought, oh, that sounds like a gosling. Sure enough, I found a lone gosling all by itself. So I went looking. I actually had three geese that were setting this year. I thought I was down to two setting geese. I thought the third one had just disappeared, got got by the wildlife or something. And then I found her in a strange place setting on a nest of eggs. So her eggs finally hatched today. The one that was setting on the rotten nest, I also got rid of that today. It was enough to make you gag. One of the eggs when I threw it out actually exploded like a bomb, it was so rotten. Uh, but the wind today helped blow the stink out of the barn. Uh, kind of felt like um, that goose from Charlotte's Web that had the rotten egg and the rat runs off with the, the rotten egg and eventually saves the spider's life. But in my case, I just got rid of the rotten eggs because I didn't want that smell. So we cleared that out. And after I found the single goslin, I went looking for this mysteriously hid goose with her nest, found her in the yard with six more babies. So I've got seven baby goslings um, that came into the world over the last 24 hours. They actually stayed with the two older goslings that were in the video yesterday in the high tunnel today in their little playpen. Uh, tonight, they'll go in separate pens to keep them warm and safe from the wildlife. If I leave them with mom, they'll get separated. They can't keep up with mom. The little bitty tiny uh, goslings just can't keep up with mom and they would mostly get knocked off. So they'll be protected for a while. Also had friends come out to get some compost and drop off some things that uh, they picked up that I really needed on the farm. So that was a blessing. And the biggest blessing was my friends that came out, uh, Ryan and Aaron and Ryan brought his son Hunter and we went on another mushroom hunt. Last week, well, the weekend they came out and in a different spot in the woods, um, back over on the west side of the pond, we found a, a, maybe two pounds worth of black mushrooms, the black morales. Beautiful, but they were kind of tiny. They were hard for me to see. But today's mushrooms, a little bit different weather this week, a little bit later in the season, the yellow and gray morales were popping up and they were big mushrooms. Well, big mushrooms. Um, and found a whole bunch of them. We actually ended up with three and a half pounds of those. So I got footage from that. Um, we checked the bees out today. They were buzzing and happy. So I've got a little bit of footage to share with you and uh, I'll share that. And that's how the day went. These are the hardest working ladies on the farm. One bee in its lifetime will make one twelfth of a teaspoon of honey. Needless to say, these girls are certainly enjoying the crab apple tree out front, the cherry trees, and all the flowers in the woods that are blooming already. The last nest of goslings hatched yesterday. The goslings are dried off and mama took them out. I've already found one that kind of got left behind on the grass out front. Found the rest of them. She's trying to get them away from me. I see one, two, three, four, five, six. So that means seven out of this hatch. I'll collect these guys so they don't get caught by the fox or any of the other wildlife and uh, protect them. So got to get to work. Can't catch them and keep mama off of me. So adios for the moment. New friends on the farm. I decided rather than stick them in the house with the heat lamp, we'll go ahead and stick them out here in the high tunnel. With the uh, larger two, they seem to have taken well. They'll bond and uh, it'll be easier to take care of them instead of in two little hatches. Having fun and staying warm. It's nice and toasty in the high tunnel in the greenhouse today. I don't think we want Aaron's underwear in the shot. Yeah. <laughs> it is now, it is garden, Aspen, 
or Worldwide Garden Naked Day. I like that. You liked my comment last night? Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's see. That bag is filling up fast. Oh, sweet. You find it, Hunter? Yeah. There's one right there, both burnt. Burnt or dried out? Dried out. Looks dried out. Yeah, that's dried out. We'll leave that there for more spores. And there's what you usually use for mushroom hunting, a mesh bag. That way when you're walking through the woods, the spores of the mushroom can fall back out, back onto the ground and give us more opportunities for more mushrooms another year. Look back behind you, Aaron. There's a monster back there. Yep. I want to brag a monster back there. That's a nice looking bag of mushrooms. Yeah, there's a great one right there. Can I get it? Where's your bragging one at? Right there in the middle of the floor. Oh. Get ready to get you that one, buddy. That's a nice one. Let's see, Hunter. Sweet. Yeah, right there. Too ripe. Yeah. That'll be a good one to leave out. I mean, that's just absolutely beautiful. Nice haul. Oh, yeah, I can see that from way over. Oh, that would have been a sweet one. It's too mature though, isn't it? Uh -uh. Oh, it's oh, not? You can still eat that. It's still oh, nice wow. And, nice and supple. That's the food. Ooh. That is okay. Good dinner on that one. Oh, uh, that one's a little too long. Tear that one up and spread her out. We definitely, now it's like the, uh, the black's not so much, but we definitely are going to owe you some, throw you some fried up yellow. No, that's okay. I don't have time to fry them. Well, we can make them up and freeze them like we did. Okay, you missed them, Aaron. I did. I walked right by them. He's looking for That's them okay. Throat. I'd miss them all. I'm looking for the whole He's out there trunk hunting. Can't beat that, though. No. This is one of the big ash trees on the farm. You can see what killed it. The little lines were the emerald ash borer they would come underneath the bark and just eat away until it killed the tree it's so sad such a giant tree to be gone can't wait to spread them out and see how many we got there's a nice mess of me but that is a how much you think it pound um, More? That's probably closer to two. Sweet. And then Aaron's got a bag full. Well, he's, he's got an equal bag there. Very nice. Okay, there you can smile, Hunter. I'll make sure I put this one in there. There's still what? Really moist. That's a nice Sweet triple. little. Yeah. Sweet little triple. No, Hunter, those, uh... Oh, those are... T that's a true I'm, double. I'm oh, cool. Pointed. That's a true double. Take a picture of that. I'm pointing straight at him. Sweet. I've never picked one of these. Oh, well, there you go. They have. What yeah. a special day. I'm telling you. I actually picked a true double over there as well, so we each got one. Today. Awesome. It's just amazing when you stop and think most of that, not plant, but that fungus is underground. Yep. And that's just a very small portion of what we see. Mm -hmm. And how, which is what makes them come back every year. And also mm -hmm. how uh, delicate they are, yet so strong. That, that's what amazes me. You'll notice that they'll move sticks or move bark laying on the ground. And they grow so they and pop they up so fast. Straight minutes. I think the life cycle is about 14 days. So it takes it's them 14 different. days to get that big, or it 14 starts, days once they start underground. It to deteriorate after about a week. Yeah. Okay, so these could have been up more than a couple days. Mm -hmm. But today is definitely prime day. Just make sure you Adam, can't beat this weather. Just make sure Adam knows you missed them. <laughs> yeah, Adam needs to know. Four pounds of them came home in a, in a different area. Four pounds of them. Yeah, but they had the they had the baby with them oh, in the okay. stroller. That was probably just out for a good little walk. Yeah, they just wanted to get Those out. Those are nice. Cocaine size. 
makes for an exciting day. Yes, it does. Wow. <laughs> now Levi's going to get into the action. Quite a few grays in there. Mm -hmm. Which ones are the grays? These ones. Are they typically smaller? Or? Uh, I've never seen grays that big. That was weird. That's about as big as I've seen a gray. Uh -huh. And that's pretty close to a gray. Nice, nice, nice. What do you think, Levi? He just wants attention. Nice, nice, nice. Pretty good size. Wow, that is a nice big one. Levi and Dolly are wore out just like I am. The sun's starting to set. I hope you enjoyed the video of some of the activities of today. Things are looking nice, but I've still got a lot of work to do. So I'm going to call it a night, get this video put together, and uh, we'll see you all soon. God bless and have a great day and great evening.